welcome to communication lab in this laboratory session we study pre emphasis and de emphasis circuit and we will plot the response of these circuits our aim is to plot frequency response curve of pre emphasis and de emphasis circuit these circuits are used to improve quality of audio signals at transmitter and receivers in fm circuits if the amplitude of noise is higher than the modulating signal which results in interference hence the pre emphasis and de emphasis circuits which are high pass and low pass filter are used at fm transmitter and receiver the time constant tau is usually selected to define the amount of pre emphasis and de emphasis required so in this circuits we are going to design the value of the filter element that is r2 and c2 and the value of the feedback resistor in op amp configurations so in this we consider tau the time constant is 75 microsecond if we assume c2 0.1 microfarad on substituting c2 and tau will approximately get the value of r as 8 to 20 ohm we have to consider the next available value of resistor here similarly by taking the gain of non inverting amplifier 1.586 here by assuming r1 as 1 kilo ohm by substituting gain and r1 here will approximate the value of feedback resistor so this is the circuit of pre emphasis and de emphasis here we have op amp 741 and the feedback resistors are as shown here here we are going to set a sign signal of 1 volt peak to peak and we are going to vary the frequency from 100 to 5 kilohertz here in pre emphasis we have capacitor and resistor network as shown here filter so this is high pass filter and here is the low pass filter that is in de emphasis this is the response curve of pre emphasis and de emphasis so to obtain the cutoff frequency of pre emphasis and de emphasis we consider minus 3 decibel from the maximum value and this is the procedure and observation when the experiment is conducted in step 1 we set the sign signal of amplitude 1 volt peak to peak we have to observe this signal on cro before we apply that to the circuit in the second step after connecting all the components we have to vary the frequencies in steps starting from 100 to 10 kilohertz with a step size of 500 hertz here so note down the output voltage by keeping the cro in xy mode so these are the sample reading that is obtained for pre emphasis and de emphasis circuit so input voltage amplitude is 1 volt peak to peak sinusoidal signal here we have varied the frequency from 100 to 3500 with a step of 500 hertz and these are the output voltage obtained and this is the gain 
and this is gain in decibels. Similarly, for DM passes, so by keeping input voltage amplitude one volt peak to peak, we varied the frequency from 100 to 4000 with a step size of 500 and we obtained the output voltage like this. D emphasis is just opposite of pre emphasis and the results are tabulated here. Using semi log sheet, we can plot the graph. Here we have considered left hand side pre emphasis graph and right hand side D emphasis graph. X axis we have considered frequency and Y axis we consider the gain in decibels. So based on the results obtained in this table, we have considered here the scale on Y axis as 10 decibel here. One cell is equal to 10 decibel. So each and every reading is plotted here and a graph is drawn and we have taken here minus 3 decibel which cuts the graph at this point. So on observation we got here cutoff frequency of 1.6 kilohertz for pre emphasis Similarly on locating all the points and drawing smooth curve here taking minus 3 decibel here from the maximum we found the cutoff frequency 1.8 kilohertz approximately so this completes the pre emphasis and de emphasis frequency response plotting experiment thank you